so it's it's been a while since I did a video, but, uh, which there's been a lot going on, a lot of things has happened, and but now hopefully I'll be getting back to making more videos. Uh, one thing that's slowed me down here lately is I've been building a little store to sell my knives and, and my blacksmith work from. And what I used to build this little store with is pallets. I've used pallets and metal that people had thrown away. So I'll walk you through that here in a minute and show you some of the inventory of what I've got in here so far. So as you can tell it's still work in progress. I'm still uh, trying to get it finished and I'm sure that everybody who's been driving down the road has been wondering what's that fool doing up on that hill. I'm building me a little store and I've built all this just from pallets and the windows I got at the auction five dollars. Door was free. The back door was free. All the metal it was free, so I've did pretty good so far. Now, I'll show you the back of it, show you the pallets, because I hadn't got the back finished yet. Now here's the back of it. You can see I ain't got the siding or nothing on it. It's still just the pallets. Now you might be wondering what I used for siding. All that came off of the pallets too. There's a piece of one of the pallets that I had cut. And this is one of the pallets that I cut up to use for siding. And what I did was I took a sawzall and I cut between them, just cut them off, cut the nails and cut them off apart and what they are actually kind of kind of fits the purpose but most of these pallets are pallets that roofing shingles came on and most of the roofing shingles roofing shingle pallets are got good nice flat boards like that on it and they make for good siding now we, we'll head on in and look at the at the inside. Now for the floor, I did the same thing. All that came off of them shingle pallets. It's got the floor is made of pallets, and then on top of those pallets, I ran these boards. I ran them crossways. Then once I got them down. Then I came back and I put another one on top of that to stiffen it up a little bit more. And as you can see, I run them that way. Now, for the walls, like I said, I, I ain't done yet. Still got to do some painting. But all that, that plywood, that also came from pallets as well. And I'm running it all the way around. Now the bubble wrap, yes it might be dirty, but it was free. I've insulated this whole thing with bubble wrap. I've got bubble wrap up on the ceiling where, uh, where the metal is. I went all the way around, did, it, did the whole thing. Like I said, that metal all that metal was free. So I've did pretty good so far. The only about the biggest thing I actually built or bought was the rafters. It, uh, I wanted to make sure that they went all the way across. I didn't want to piece those together. So I've built 
basically about 90, 98%, 98% of this building all out of pallets. So I guess we could say that now I have a pallet store. You know, you look up and you can find pallet buildings. Well, I've got a pallet store. Now, let's take a look at some of the stuff that I have in here already. So I've got some Hunter Orange Huggies. Beer Huggies. We'll say Dr. Pepper, but beer Huggies. I've got some waterproof matches, like little survivor, survivor kit, I guess you could say, survival kit. There's matches. Looks like pretty good matches. And those are supposed to be waterproof. And I've got them for $5 a piece. I think we're going to sell those for three. Probably three, $3 a piece. The Hunter Orange Toboggans, $6.00. The hats, six dollars. I've got a couple sharpening stones. Got a fine on one side and a fine, fine on one side and medium on the other. Got some more knife sharpeners. I sell those for five a piece. Yeah, I think we're gonna do five six dollars a piece on those got some earplugs oh we also got some some of the field dressing gloves for deer seasons here upon us so that'll help for field dressing your deer a little bit of rope now over here i've got my knives Knives that I've made, some holsters. Of course, I got them all at various different prices. There's some of them popular uh, Serbian chef cleavers. There's some more. Now, all some of these here, those right here on the top, I have them on sale uh, like this this one here it's a old skin it's a skinny knife to made it to look vintage like like what they would back in the 1800s as you can see i've got it from 105 to 50 dollars same way with that that's a skinny knife the blade's been blued on it got the deer antler handle and it's at 50. And there's a really good deal. This is one of my skinny knives with a gut hook. And I have it down at $50 from $140. We also got some of these lights clip on your hat bill. <coughs> some belts that I made. Them custom made belts. Have a neck knife. You wear that around your neck. And this, I made this for a customer and he never came picked it up, so I've got it for sale up here. It's for it's a ammo belt for a 1022 Ruger. And you can put put your clip in right here too. Extra clip. Now over here, I've got some safety slash sunglasses for shooting, shooting with. And I've got some little flashlights. Now I do sell. I will take orders on knives over the over the internet, or if you if you was to see something you like or want something custom made, just have to drop me a message and we'll go from there. But uh, I do take custom orders on those. And it, and it also uh, depends on if you where you live at. And, uh, normally, most of the time, I only ship within the U.S. So, 
But that's it. That's a walk through the store. We're going to be adding more stuff. Uh, I've got more inventory stuff that I've made that I hadn't brought up here yet. And uh, hopefully next time, we'll never uh, do another video on this door. Then I'll have hopefully everything done, if not most everything done, and a lot more inventory. And coming in the future, we're going to, if things go well, we're going to expand into a little bit more. But... We'll just have to wait and see how this all goes and then see what we, see what happens. So, and if you haven't did it yet, like, subscri subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time.